Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a Ram 1500 Rocky Ridge Edition. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. this truck is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. Now before we move forward with this review I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So first off you got Rocky Ridge on the windshield. Uh, now with the HUD itself it's actually unchanged with this particular package. Uh, this is built off of a Bighorn but they do the upgraded LED headlights. You can see the fog lights down below. We've got this custom grill that comes with the Rocky Ridge package. So we've got marker lights there in the center. You've got a light bar there at the bottom. And so putting it all together, it has that cool lifted truck appearance and a little bit of an off-road pizzazz with the marker lights and everything. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 325, 60, 20 in the front and over on the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, you've got the silver mixed with the blacked out elements. Also got the red Rocky Ridge brake caliper as well. But yeah, aggressive all-terrain tires. I mean, these are 35s. So I think they look pretty cool. Now when it comes to the lift, it's about a six inch lift with this package if I remember properly. We also have these chunky fender flares here. You guys can see Rocky Ridge on the side. And then we do have power side steps. And here's your full side view with the lift. Let me know what you guys think uh, in terms of the looks, but I think this looks really sharp. And then in the back, still have use of the multi-link setup, but you guys can see we do have Fox shocks with this. And then of course, Rocky Ridge here in the back, and then you guys can see the blacked out exhaust tips. Kind of another fun part of the package. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the overall design here with this Rocky Ridge. Now another part is, bada bing bada boom, inside with these seats. You can see here we've got these leather seats, kind of a cool design. I'll show you guys the front seat as well. Rocky Ridge there at the top. But yeah, cool design here on the seats. And they do have an uploaded or uploaded updated payload. Looks like it's 1,143 pounds for the payload capacity with this truck. And then this is just for the uh, light bar there on the front to turn that on. And let's see how it is to get in without the side steps. Uh, definitely <laughs> don't skip leg day. Um, and I guess I'll quickly turn this on. Big horn. Ooh, listen to that exhaust. Pretty nice. Got the big 12 inch display, um, advanced four wheel drive system. So this has all the stuff you'd want. Uh, center console here with this. Obviously this isn't Rocky Ridge stuff, this is just normal Bighorn stuff. So yeah, you got all that. I guess with that being said, low on fuel. Anyways, <laughs> let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors with the rest of the rear. I just realized I forgot to talk about the Rocky Ridge gauge cluster. They also changed the gauges as well. So that's kind of another Rocky Ridge thing. But regardless of gauge clusters and this and that, let us set off and see how this Rocky Ridge 1500 performs. Um, I actually wasn't planning on reviewing one of these today, but I noticed they have a few of them. So I was like, you know what? I got a, I got a few minutes of extra, or of, yeah, some extra time before I got to head out. So let's do it. First off, ride quality is good. I don't feel like you can see anything so far compared to stock with the ride quality. You do feel taller, of course. It's quite a bit taller. I mean, 35s, the biggest tires you can get on a outside of the T-Rex, outside of the T-Rex, on a 1500 is uh, 33s. So just the tires alone give you a higher stance, but then a six inch lift, it's definitely gonna make it pop up or be a little bit higher, right? That's smooth. Does, I mean, you, you can feel the uh, height, I guess you could say a bit. And the handling, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really suffer, I would say, but um, it's interesting. Do you feel a little bit more body roll? Do you feel a little bit more body roll? Oh, 
I barely got on it there. And it's just... 5.7 <laughs> seven Hemi. That's all I'm going to say. 5.7 seven Hemi. But... Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's pretty smooth other than the fact that, like, you barely get in the throttle and it just spins the rear tires, apparently. Not sure what that's about. Let's see if this has enough power to, well... <whistles> Nissan, Nissan, Nissan. Okay, now I'll get into it a bit. Strong? It's got more than enough power to move the 35s. No problem. I wouldn't call it fast, but it's it's good. It'll be interesting to see how these trucks drive once they uh, switch over to the Hurricane. I wonder what lifted Hurricane Ram. I wonder what that's going to drive like. Hmm. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. So to cap things off, uh, I don't really feel like you can see anything when it comes to driving. Um, I couldn't find... There's like the regular window sticker on this. I couldn't find the Rocky Ridge window sticker. I wonder if it's in that... I guess I'll check that bag when we get to a stop. See if it's in the bag for some reason. Yeah, you have to be like really light in this throttle or it spins those rear tires. Interesting. But yeah, it drives really well. I like how it drives. Um, I, I like the overall package, what they've done with this. Uh, I, I will say, I think it's interesting that these lifted trucks are built off the Bighorn, not the Laramie. Well, I understand why, because it comes down to cost. Or if you build it off of the Bighorn instead of the Laramie, then it's going to help bring down the cost of the truck. And also, if you do Laramie, well, you're, you're trading leather seats for leather seats, right? So you're paying for leather seats, but then you're... So you're kind of paying twice. So I, under, I understand that. But yeah, let's uh, see if it's in this uh, bag here. Now it looks like there's just some brochures. Well, yeah, I think these, I can't remember how much this package cost. Uh, the Bighorn is 64,000. I bet this is another 20,000 on top of that. That'd be my guess. I don't know, check their website. Anyways, Rocky Ridge means you can do this. You can drive up curbs because you have 35s. You don't even have to think about it. This is what 35s allow you to do in life. So like, if, you, if you're if you questioning whether or not you should buy one of these, well, when you're at the mall, you can just drive over the curbs. And I think that that is uh, pretty much the meaning of life. I'll see you guys.